What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we managed to make it to Zora's Domain. We were kind of prompted to Prince uh, Siphon. I think that was what his name was. Uh, yes, I believe so. In order to talk to the king, Dorafan. In order to kind of deal with their everlasting rain problem. We did manage to meet a few Zoras who recognized Link. So, it's kind of interesting that there are some people who still recognize, well, us. Then took a bit of a look at the shops and did a few extra stuff in Hateno before coming back here. In this episode, we need to head on over to the throne room. So where we're off to is heading up this way. Pardon me, could you please get out of the way? Ow, okay, so he's just kind of doing general maintenance, I suppose. Oh, hey! Crab. Don't know why there was just a random crab there, but whatever. Okay, so where we need to head to is probably not that way. <laughs> where we need to head to is this way, because this is where the throne room is. Uh, looks like a few other... Hello. Lady Mifa, watch this! I second the aptly named Demon Sergeant shall strike down the divine beast Varuta. What you doing? <laughs> you, you're Link! Finally, I can avenge Lady Mifa! It's been a hundred years since you last showed your face here. Now I, Segan, will cut you down myself! What are you talking about? Playing dumb, eh? Nice try, but you cannot fool me, Champion Link. You were unable to protect Lady Mifa from Calamity Ganon. It's been a hundred years since we lost her. Poor Lady Mifa, how heartbreaking. Well, I won't fail her again. Hm. There's no way we can ask for your help now. After all this time and after all that has happened. So says I, Segan, the Demon Sergeant. Even if this body of mine is destroyed... I will drown Ruta in shock arrows myself, and in doing so, Lady Mifa's requ requ regrets shall be alleviated. If you understand anything of courage, then get out of my way at once. Uh, big talk considering someone can't even touch a shock arrow. Speaking of which... Yoink. Also... Hey! I'm in the middle of my shock arrow training. I must learn to withstand them. Did I not just tell you that? To commit some violence with the great Sagan standing right before you. In that case, you take the responsibility of appeasing the divine beast of Aruta. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think shock arrows work that way. Anyway. Hey. Hello and welcome. Zoro's Domain is currently searching for a Hylian like you. That's a this Hylian... I get the feeling I've seen him before. Perhaps a long time ago. So yeah, some people definitely recognize Link. Others kind of recognize Link. Uh, I'm not sure what all is around here. Actually, I think this might be a spring or something. There's lots of snails around here. So I'm just going to grab these. Don't mind me. Hmm. 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 What's wrong? Yeah. A traveler, eh? Upon this stone monument is the proud history of the Zora, as dictated by King Dorfan himself many years ago. <laughs> I plan to record it all in a book, so I'm reading it again. That sounds rough. 
Link? Is that really you? The Hylian, who stole away our Lady Mipha. And what's more, the champion who... I cannot forgive you. Not ever. Say what? Do you not understand the gravity of what you have done? Not only did you Hylians fail to stop Calamity Ganon a hundred years ago, but you went and stole our Lady Mipha from us. I will never forgive you awful Hylians. Not ever. So it seems like the old Zoras really don't like Link. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Seems like this is the same one as the one that we kind of saw before. Where it was pretty much... Well, it was pretty much illegible. Okay, so there's not really a whole lot else for us to do. So, we are just going to head on over to the throne room. And there we are. There is Sidon, and that is what I assume to be King Dorafan. Ah, oh, you must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Dorafan, ruler of the Zora. Hmm? That object upon your waist, is that not a Sheikah Slate? Hmm? I've got a better, good look at you. It's all too clear who you are. You're the Hylian Champion Link! Oh, do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion? You can't mean THE Link. THAT Champion? So that's where I heard your name before. Oh, what a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. I cannot believe it. The Hylian Champion Link has appeared before us. We've met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, oh, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I've heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary! Well, kind of. I mean, I failed to stop Calamity Ganon, and I was revived, but unfortunately, I don't remember anything from back then. I've completely lost all my memories. Come again? You said you lost your memories? But surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mifa, yes? You do, do you not? I'm sorry, but that name doesn't ring a bell. I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you do not remember her? Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mipha's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. I dearly hope so. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it's worth noting how remarkable it is that Sedan brought a champion here without realizing it. That's quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> oh, that is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zoro's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? What? King Dorfan, my liege, please do not speak so! To ask a Hylian for help, why the very thought of it curls my fins. Mm -hmm. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Uh. Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. 
with such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zoro's domain! I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zoro's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that is not the least of it. It's their fault that Lady Mipha was lost to us. Link. Divine Beast Varuta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercil mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For Azura, water and air are as one, so you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. Their Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Divine Beast is crying out once again. The Divine Beast Varuta. Your Princess Zelda often studied the Divine Beasts, that is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there's no electricity coursing through to stop them. Oh. Sagan, who is quite a sh who is quite shock resistant for Azora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we cannot safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. <laughs> that is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. Link, I'm certain you've already figured this out, but... We need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. Hmm. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, Hero, I beg of you, help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. I... uh... What? Princess Zelda her herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within? So then Princess Zelda is still alive? Yes, in Hyrule Castle, holding back Calamity Ganon. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of a hundred years ago cannot be altered, it is true. But if we can regain control of the Divine Beasts, they may prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. Huh. I do not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. <laughs> Wondrous! Naturally, I shall help you too! Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link! Let us appease Ruta together! I'm in. That was what I came here to begin with. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you, Link! Truly, we are in your debt. 
Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. And so we get the Zora Armor. This piece of armor allows us to increase our swimming speed. Which is super helpful. Especially when, you know, there's a lot of water. Which Zora's Domain is literally filled with. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like a Zora. Please, take good care of it. King Dorafan! Surely, you do not really intend to give this outsider the Zora armor. <laughs> Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted their armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made that one there with her own hands. It's far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he reserve he receive such an honor? It's just too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Mm. Hm. That Musu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter, Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him. Just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. But what shall we do now? I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows we will need to appease Valruta. And now he's rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Sedan, I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Well, I don't see exactly what good that would do, but... I suppose that couldn't hurt. So anyway, the Zora armor... It does allow us to swim up waterfalls, which is also super helpful. Honestly, I really like this armor, and the fact that it just gives us a lot better swimming uh, up capabilities, plus the ability to climb up waterfalls, that's actually super re helpful to have. Because there's any number of different waterfalls that are, well, around Hyrule. So, by doing that, we can try and talk to Muzu. And see if maybe we can try to get some shock arrows. Out of curiosity's sake, I don't think we... I mean, we have some shock arrows. Not nearly enough for what we need to take down Valruta. But hopefully we can convince Muzu. Huh. You came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Listen well, Muzu, there is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one who my sister Mifa had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. No! You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie! Not this, Zora! How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue. It is the truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart.
I was thinking. This reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. What's the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm. hmm. You are quite quivering like a hatchling. Whatever is the matter? Mifa. I remember her now. What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Hylian. There's no way you remembered her just now when it's most convenient. In any way, in any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. If you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so, and... And I... I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. Have you truly not figured it out yet? Simply take a closer look at what Link is wearing. Hmm? You really think changing your clothes is going to make me... Huh? When the... That's the Zora armor from before! Lady Miva made that by hand and... Yet it fits you... Perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belonged to and who she made this special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mifa made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mifa never told you. Huh. Now that you know, you must promise to help him save us all, Muzu. Please, tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you've already figured it out. Hmm. I never would have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian, but I suppose it is our only option at this point. I'm a proud Zora. That means I must take responsibility for my unwarranted behavior towards you. As promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. That tall mountain over yonder is called Polymus Mountain, and there you will also find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. This awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to a Zora. Aha! You must mean that Lionel! He is a man-beast, that one! That beast does indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. He is vicious to be sure, but I am certain Link will rise to the challenge. 
In order to appease the divine beast, I estimate that you will need... Hmm, at least 20 shock arrows. Do you think you can gather that many? Why do you still doubt him, Muzu? I have no doubt he will be triumphant. Okay, Link, let's get moving. The fastest way to Polymus Mountain is to ascend the waterfall east of the domain. That Zoro armor should come in handy. Just swim to the waterfall basin and then go up the waterfall from there. I'll wait at East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast. Gather at least 20 shock girls and come join me. Sounds good. I'm on it. <laughs> Wonderful! Together we shall stop that Divine Beast onslaught. Alright, so we have ourselves our next objective. We need to go and confront a Lionel in order to gather 20 shock arrows. Hi. Now, uh, unfortunately Zora's domain only shell sells ice arrows, so that's not super helpful. Uh, what also helps is the fact that we do have that uh, electric elixir. Uh, I don't believe, because we inherited it, I don't believe, oh no, we can take a look at the recipe. So, we get a basic idea as to what we can use in order to create it. Some darners, as well as a Lazalfos horn. So, there's various different ways you can create some of those shock-resistant, uh, elixirs. Uh, however, we need to head on over to that reservoir, which is way out over th this way. So, it's a bit of a trek to try to reach. Uh, we need to go up the waterfall. Uh, actually, is that the right quest? Uh, let's see. You need to collect 20 shock arrows. So, I think that might just lead you to where uh, Sedan is. Because the 20 shock arrows can be gotten from anywhere. You don't have to necessarily go and, you know, take on the Lionel for that. However, underneath Zoro's Domain, there's various different things that are here. Including some chests. So, I'm going to go ahead... Grab this, kind of bring it over to land, and missing. We're okay. Almost hidden from view. Yeah, there's a lot of chests that are down here, and it may be a little bit soon to go after all these. So we'll gather the two chests that are immediately apparent to us. And then get going. There is a reason to go after all these chests. Uh, aside from just some sweet loot. Uh, but we'll get to that at another time. So... You can at very least swim a little bit faster with the Zora armor on. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot... In fact, I only have the one, the one energy recovering thing, so that's not exactly the greatest thing in the world. Uh, but where we need to go... Hmm. Uh, I might have gone the wrong way <laughs> in coming down here. So, I'm gonna try to climb my way back up here. Worst case scenario, I just teleport. I might need to do that. You know what? Let's just do that. <laughs> and this is why you make sure that you hit the shrine. Because things like that can happen. Okay, so instead of going down to the bottom there, like where I kind of thought maybe we needed to go, I think instead we need to exit uh, Zoro's Domain through a different 
method. There are various different ways to leave Zoro's Domain. Uh, I'd explore around a little bit more, but I don't think we have a lot that we have access to at the moment. Uh, there's definitely a number of different quests that are available in Zoro's Domain. But I think we need to deal with Varuta first before we really get access to any of them. Uh, in fact, I think we need to head up to the throne room. Oh, hey! Maybe we can do at least a quest. Oh. Oi, Hylian! Oh. You listen to what King Dorfan had to say. Yes, so it is the cause of our suffering in Zor's domain. It's all because of that beast, Ruda. Oh. That's why my, my senior apprentice, Frank, and I are repairing the domain. Our materials are a bit depleted. Materials? Yes, repairs require a large number of luminous stones. You can find plenty of them around Upland Zoralana. Have you, have you by chance already stumbled across some luminous stones during your travels? <laughs> For instance, if you have 10 of them, that'd be a big help. Okay, so if we have 10 luminous stones, we can do that. We definitely don't have 10 of them, though. We only have three. <laughs> Well, now I feel silly for not getting those when we had an opportunity to. But that's a quest that is opened up to us. Um, We have another quest right here. I guess some quests open up now that we've talked to the king. Hi. Hello. You are Link, right? Yeah, why do you ask? Uh -huh. Prince Adon ran off through the eastern gate. He was shouting something like, I'm off to stop the Divine Beast! Link the Hylians coming with me! I assume that means you're going up Polymus Mountain in search of shock arrows? That's right. Uh, if so, I request that is somewhat related. There's a red main monster called a Lionel that lives on Polymus Mountain. I really need a picture of a Lionel. It can be a picture of any red-maned Lionel, not just the one on the mountain. So what do you say? Can you get me a picture of a Lionel? Sure. Ah. I'm glad that this was settled so quickly. Mm. See, there's this fool in the domain who goads people in jumping off Shireback Point on Polymus Mountain. It's an incredibly dangerous jump, and this guy pressures people into jumping off by questioning their courage. He's a real bottom feeder. If this keeps up, someone's going to wind up horribly injured. Aww. I need a picture of Lionel to show everyone how scary they are. That way, maybe people will stop going up there. Does that answer your question, Link? <laughs> I'll leave the details to you. Just bring me a picture of a Lionel so I can describe them in terrible detail. Thank you. Okay, so we need to take a picture of a Lionel. I know we took a picture before... But I'm pretty sure I got rid of it. Yep. Um. Let's see. That's uh, a Hinox. Trying to think where the blue is all close. Well, there's the Lionel. Unfortunately, since I got rid of the picture... It doesn't count if it's just in the... Unfortunately, it doesn't count if it's in the compendium, which is a little bit unfortunate. So I have to take another picture of a Lionel. So that's a bit of a bummer. Especially since there really aren't that many pictures you can hold. Which also kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, hey! Huh? You, Link! <laughs> Though I lack the shock arrows needed for the job, I am on my way to take on the Divine Beast of Aruta all by myself. Do not try to stop me, Link! Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> that is the very last thing I wish to hear from you. Still, according to my fortune today, I should be cautious of injury. In light of that, I think it would be for the best if I call it a day. Wimp! Anyway. So, we need to head on over to that mountain. That is going to be our next destination. So, East Reservoir Lake is over to the right, and Polymus Mountain is over to the left. 
So, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this silent room. Various silent rooms. I don't think I've taken a... Nope, did not take a picture of a boar. Did I get it that time? There we go, got it. Okay, so tree branch. Um, Doesn't seem like there's anything else that way. Okay, except some snails. So anyway, so how we traverse up waterfalls is that once we get close enough to certain types of waterfalls, we get a prompt. Don't ask me how that works. It just does. And you will go flying up and then pull out your paraglider. I also don't get how it doesn't use up any stamina, but you know, sometimes you just don't question things. So approach the waterfall and swim, swim, swim me, swim, swim, swim me. Pew! Thankfully, you automatically deploy your paraglider, so that helps out significantly. Uh, however, what is that? Oh, it's probably just another snail. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, hello. Frogs. Tireless frogs, too, so a little bit different. Okay, so, go ahead and swim up the waterfall again! Again, it kind of depends on which waterfalls you're looking at. Not all waterfalls will be able to be traversed, but you can get a good amount. Ooh. Couple of shock arrows right there. So yeah, at the very least there are a few that are just kind of scattered about up here. That's a little bit helpful, but it does show you that we are on the right track. Go ahead and grab the Hightail Lizard. Okay, looks like a couple more shock arrows. And we're getting quite a bit just in our general traversal. Shatterback point. So the point is not to kill the Lionel. The point is to just have him shoot the arrows at us. Uh, I do not see the Lionel at this point, though. However, he does frequent this... Oh, there it is. And he's seen us. Crap, 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 crap. That's a scary picture right there. Um. Actually, was that a pretty decent one for the compendium? I know this is a stupid question to ask. Wow! Where- how did- Okay, much better. Replace that. Run. Oh, jeez! Okay, well, 
That was frightening and not how I expected that to go. Sounds like the Lionel's still after us, too. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate that, like, he sees us. And unfortunately, there's so much water that also doesn't help. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure... what it's going at, but music is still dynamic. Oh, whoa, what the? can do that okay so where exactly okay yeah it did put me back a little bit oh he freaking appeared out of nowhere And there's an arrow right here. Okay, so now that he's not focused on me, there's just a lot of arrows that are scattered about. And that is primarily how we are going to be getting these things. It's not necessarily from him firing at us. But rather just collecting what's around because you're not going to be able to gather these things after he fires them. Hmm? Unfortunately, Lionels also have really good lines of sight. Three more and we'll be allowed to progress onward, which would be nice. It just kind of sucks that it does that bit of a cutscene. And then... It's just right there. Because that cutscene kind of screws you over a little bit. Especially since I didn't move and the Lionel still was able to see me. Alright, so that's three additional ones right there. Uh, any more we can find uh, would be helpful. There's some over that way. Thankfully, uh, we can teleport out whenever we need to. Another one right there. Some silent shrooms. Oh. Gotta make sure that you're well behind it. Because this is how they intend you to do this. Not actually fighting him. Because if he sees you, you are boned. As you very clearly saw twice. I don't understand how he teleported, like, right there. Like, right in front of me. He just suddenly appeared. Okay, little bit, little bit sneaky. There's another arrow over that way. Oh, couple more right here. Crap. Let go. Okay, the more shock arrows we have, the better off we'll be. So 
So I'm gonna go all the way over this way. Kind of go way off in the corner. And doesn't look like there's any more shock arrows. Okay. Well, at the very least, we did manage to get quite a few. So we are definitely good to go and meet Sedan. Oh! Damn it! Damn it. Bird freaking flew up into the... Like, flew right into the mountain. Wait a minute. Cool Darmer. I can get it. Gotcha! Cool! Oh, ow. So, a couple of old darners that are just kind of scattered about. More lizards. Uh, otherwise, I think we are good to go. I kind of look at my time, I realize just how far we've come. And also, how far over time we are. So, again, make sure that the Lionel doesn't see you. Because <laughs> that's just all sorts of problems. Also, you can't get any arrows that he fires towards you. Which is also a problem. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are going to go where Sedan is. Now that we've managed to gather enough arrows that we need in order to kind of have a good chance of actually being able to take down the Divine Beast. Um, after that, hopefully we'll be able to actually, you know, take on the Divine Beast. But, well... We gotta make sure that we can stop its rampage first. And maybe try to stop this water. Maybe then we'll be able to access it and try to stop it from within. Before we officially end things, though. Hi. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Link! How's that line of Mitchell coming along? I've got your picture. Wow. Oh, wow! Please show me! Ah! <clears throat> My apologies. This was not very dignified, was it? Pardon me. I, I'm all better now. Whew, that Lionel. How terrifying. Uh... One look at this and I doubt anyone would get reckless ideas about visiting Polymus Mountain. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll tell the children to mean about this. Maybe that'll scare them away from the mountain. Oh, right. Now for your reward. And so, by doing this, we get the Zora Greaves! Uh -huh. These Zora Greaves were once made by skilled craftsmen by order of an ancient Zora King. Now they're fairly common. As you may know, East Reservoir Lake was created in collaboration between Hylians and the Zora. After East Reservoir Lake was finished, he made Zora Greaves as a token of friendship for Hylians who came to visit. Uh -huh. Over time, the number of Hylians visiting the domain dwindled, and my father had to close his armor shop. These Zora Greaves were the last pair left in stock room when he closed up shop. Wearing these, even a Hylian can swim as well as a Zora. That said, these would be wasted on me. They're only useful for a Hylian like you. Please take good care of them. So yes, very helpful quest to do. Because it gives us another piece of Zora armor. The Zora Greaves. So, same amount of defense as our general pants. But it increases our swimming speed. Which is super nice. Well, there should be some type of headgear. And I'm not sure if maybe that's just the Luminous Stone. Or maybe there's a different quest. Um, however. That is neither here nor there. Now that we have gotten all that. Well, all the shock arrows that were called for. We're going to go see Sedan. And then see what we can do about trying to calm down Varuta. So until next time, everyone, take care.